<laughs> you doing alright there? You crying? Is it making you sad? It's very sad. So to water sad. An onion. Poor onions. Good evening, beautiful people. We are doing a slightly different video tonight. Um, we are teaming up with Amanda from The Beals and Lisa from Sutton's Days. We are part of Crocktober, which is basically an entire month of crock pot meals. Um, a bunch of channels are getting in on this, so every day a different channel shares a different meal. And it's all crock pot based. We technically are using a roaster oven today. I asked Amanda if that was cool. She said that's totally fine. <laughs> so it's not quite a crock pot. Um, it's not quite a like set it and forget it, but it's, it, it's, it's along those lines. Um, Jack is going to do this one because this is the meal he usually makes. When I say, hey, I need you to make dinner, we pulled out some chickens from the freezer. Can you just get this going? You've made this three or four times now? Sorry three times so he's kind of the master of this meal so I'm gonna help him film this um, technically he's the one doing this video but he's a little camera shy so helping him out it's all right it's all good so this is gonna be chickens roast chicken and root vegetables um, we usually do potatoes carrots we only have like five carrots left today but whatever we're gonna use them up so they're they're out of the fridge um, onion garlic and then you could put like radishes or sweet potatoes or something like that. We usually just do root vegetables because they're pretty hearty. So they can deal with being in that roaster for a while. Um, and then seasonings and whatnot. So you ready to get started? All right. All right, when well Jack is getting the potatoes ready, I'm going to mix up the seasoning for the chicken. I don't measure anything. That's why I could probably never write a cookbook. I'm terrible at measuring. I just cook by feel. We all cook by feel and taste. So um, I'm gonna mix these together, but I, was I will give you an idea of what I'm doing um, and tell you which spices we're using. Pretty basic, usually it's just salt, pepper, garlic, um, onion powder, that kind of thing, maybe some thyme. So we'll mix them up. I'll let you know what we're using, and then you'll just have to guess on the measurements. Start out with kosher salt. Um, we also use Himalayan peak salt too, but I like kosher particularly for cooking because of the, because I can do this. I like to pick it up with my fingers. And then we use the Himalayan salt for seasoning afterwards. All right, so salt, garlic powder, Probably about equal parts. We like a lot of garlic. And Jack's over like, yeah, yeah, we do. And then onion powder, not quite as much, about half as much. I would say that's probably about a tablespoon of salt and garlic powder, maybe a teaspoon or two of onion. And pepper from our fancy grinder. It's on its way out. It's kind of sad. And then I like thyme. You could do basil, you could do oregano, you could do no herbs. I just happened to be on a time kick for the last, I don't know, three years. <laughs> so time it is. It's dinner time. Mm -hmm. It's dinner time. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, you're funny. Grumpy buggy. Is she dealing? She's dealing. She's dealing. All right, tell me what you're doing. Getting the potatoes washed, and now I'm going to move on to onion and garlic. And our five and carrots. Chicken. And chicken, of five course. carrots, yes, and the five carrots. So we put the veggies on the bottom, um, just to give it a bed for the chicken. One, so the chicken doesn't like burn. I feel like the veggies get cooked better down under the chicken rather than if they were on top. And, and it makes broth. It makes broth. All the delicious juice and fat from the chicken soaks into all those veggies, and it's delicious. We leave our potatoes whole when they're small. Um, if they're bigger, we cut them up. But these are these are fairly small and they'll be good for like single serving, so we just leave them whole. And Jack likes to organize them. <laughs> All right, onions next? Yes. Okay. All right, peeling the onion, we peel this into our compost. Well, it's not compost, it's our pig bucket. So all the scraps go in there, and then Ben um, supplements their feed, the pig's feed, with all the scraps. So, and I mean all the scraps, like there's, there's turkey bones and stuff in there right now too. So all the scraps go in there and we'll use that for extra feed. Yes. <laughs> you doing alright there? You crying? Is it making you sad? It's very sad so to water sad. On Poor onions. This onion's gotta be a good one. Yep. 
get tricky and dangerous. Don't drop that. <laughs> All right, getting that in there. You gonna do garlic too? Yes. Yes. So last time you did whole cloves, right? Yes. And those were delicious. They were like a little Easter egg <laughs> in there. <laughs> you have to be the lucky one to get home. Yeah. So you gonna do that again? Yes. Okay. Can I show you a trick? Never mind, you already know the trick. Good night. Oops. I broke it. I broke mine. Okay, cool. At least we're in the same club. Alright, next. Jack seasons the vegetables separate from the chicken so they get their own seasoning. So everything gets a nice bath. So some olive oil, some salt. And he gets in there with his hands and just mixes it all around. Good. Is it good? What? <laughs> is it good? Okay, cool. This is our chicken. This is our chicken. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Oh, bird. <laughs> there you go. It's free. So that goes on the bed of veggies. There's one. Okay, you want me to sprinkle seasoning while you rub? Yeah, yeah, sure. Does onions still get any there? You okay? It's all right. So what happens? I make him make dinner and he cries. You helped butcher these chickens, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You helped do turkeys yesterday. Yeah. We butchered our turkeys yesterday. Um, we did not film it. We tend not to like filming the down and dirty stuff. Um, I know a lot of people appreciate that, but I also know there's a lot of resources for that out there. And it was also a, we just need to get it done before the rain came, which it did. <laughs> so on Friday, you guys and dad butchered. I tried, Buggy would not let me uh, go out, but that's all right. It's life with baby, we're getting through things. But you guys did it. So how was it butchering the turkeys? Gross. Gross? It's true. Uh, how do you feel about harvesting our own food, growing and harvesting our own food? I like it because then you can grow and know what goes into them. Exactly, yeah. Um, do you think it's worth it? Yes. Do you think it tastes better? Yeah? Yeah? I think it does. Um, we actually, when Ben pieced out, we kept two turkeys whole and then we pieced out the rest. I think we had six all together? Seven. Seven. Um, and de and Ben did keep three of them. Um, we're attempting to keep a breeding trio to see what they do. Um, if they don't breed and do what we want them to do, then they'll become food later. But, um, so we got seven. Kept two whole ones for Thanksgiving and holiday meals or maybe a special birthday. And then the other two he pieced out. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. <laughs> so then we took, um, they, they wouldn't all fit in the freezer whole. So he had to break down the rest of them and so he basically spatchcocked the rest of them but put the halves and then he cut out the spines and stuff like that um oh you're dirty so with the spines we actually just emptied out the roaster today um he had put all the spines and the wings and the bits that he clipped off into the roaster and we filled it with water and made turkey stock out of it and it's really good but there's a ton of meat on it left still so we got to taste it and it was really, really good. Even just for just boiling in water, no salt, no, I didn't even put veggies in it, nothing. Um, just that alone, just cooked turkey, boiled in its own stock. It's really tasty, they're very tender, um, really good. So we're excited to have those on hand too, as well as the chicken that we have. We have another batch of chicken coming. Um, they're already growing out and we'll be doing that I think in November. So it is gross, like you said. It's, it's kind of nasty doing the deed, but to be able to do stuff like this, to have our own chicken on our table is really cool. It's really cool and it's nice to have that um, this security, food security, food independence. I know we're never gonna truly be completely independent. There's always gonna be something we're gonna have to buy. Obviously we're not gonna grow enough of our own wheat or rice or anything like that, but it's really awesome to, um, to just have that here and be able to like walk out in the yard and get dinner if we need to. Whoop, you ready? Okay, all right, last step. First, you close the lid. Put the lid. 
And then you turn it to 350. So we forgot a step. Plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> Didn't know it was unplugged. There we go. Now it's plugged in. Okay, now what are we turning it to? 350. Yeah, 350 is good. So that's going to go for about two hours. Like I said, this is for Crocktober. This is not a crock pot. It's a roaster oven. So we're kind of cheating a little bit, but it does sit for an amount of time while well, you don't have to pay attention to it. You don't need to check it in the oven or anything. We do check it every now and then just to make sure nothing, you know, got stuck on the side and starts burning. Um, if you wanted to let it go longer, more like a crock pot, I would put it down to like 200 and it would obviously take longer. This takes about an hour and a half, two hours. If you're going to put it at 200, it might be like four to six hours, depending on the sizes of your birds and all that kind of stuff. Definitely check it as you go. Um, but yeah, about two hours for us, it'll be done. We'll come back at that point and show you how it turned out. Don't lose it. Wind came off. Don't lose it. Damn, All right. monkey. Dinner is ready. Dad is pulling it apart. This is Dad's job. This is what Dad does. He uh, disassembles the turkey or the chicken bits for us. So it is. Oh, it smells amazing. Cooked taters. Ooh, those look good. Oh, what'd you do to the baby? Nothing. Not you. Oh. Are you pinching the baby? He pinched the baby. <laughs> he didn't actually pinch the baby. So, chicken, taters, that's our veg. We'll have a salad with it and we're good to go. So we're gonna get this pulled apart and eat, which is good because I'm starving. All right, dinner's done. It was delicious, thank you. Appreciate okay. it. All right, the boys are gonna wrap up, get their chores done. These two usually do dishes, and the other two clean up and put things away. We do have quite a bit of meat left over. That's gonna get bagged. Um, I always cook two chickens because a lot of people and they eat a lot. <laughs> oh, you might just finish it off? <laughs> um, usually the leftovers will either be lunch for the next day or next few days, or it can be like going to tacos or chicken uh, sandwiches or something like that. Most times, we take all the bones, I'll have the p kids pick off the meat, take the bones, put the bones back in the, the roaster, we'll take the potatoes out, um, bones in, and then maybe a few more carrots if we need to, maybe some celery, and then I'll top the whole thing off with water, set it to 200, and let it sit overnight. So it sits for about 12 hours, and we'll make stock that way. It makes almost two gallons most of the time, um, so we get a good amount of stock, and then I'll use that in beans and soups and stuff like that, use it to cook rice. So we actually wind up getting two meals out of one, or three meals out of one, if you if you consider the meat too. So um, this is one of my favorite meals to make. We've been making it about once a week. Yes. So um, it's been pretty good. So anyways, we're gonna wrap it up. They're gonna get their chores done. Thank you for coming along to dinner with us. And thank you to Amanda from The Beals and Lisa from Sutton's Days for putting on Crocktober. We were super happy to be a part of it. And there are so, many other channels like it is a daily thing guys that are doing crocktober meals so i will drop a link to everybody below please go check them out and also there is a facebook group for crocktober that amanda and lisa have put together um i try to be in there when i can life with baby means internet is like pretty low which it just is what it is but there's a facebook group going they're sharing recipes they're doing giveaways all kinds of good stuff is going on over there i'll put the link for that below also Go check it out. Um, lots of fun stuff. So, we're just calling it a night. Yeah? The baby is screaming and very mad. So, time to go take care of her. We will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.